Hello everyone, Camilla here from Decodable Readers Australia. Today we start our mini-series on Decodable Readers Australia's online library. Now, this is definitely an online library with a difference, and I'm going to take you through this special platform that supports students in their learning, not only to read, but to learn and understand those speech sounds, mapping those sounds to letter sound correspondences, knowing and understanding sight words and some fun and engaging ways to do it. Now, this library isn't a library that's just taken our decodable readers, put them as PDFs online and given access online. This library has so many interactive features that really promote the learning process. It's going to help students learn to read. It's going to assist teachers in their delivery of a systematic synthetic phonics approach. And it's going to assist parents in their help and support of their child learning to read. And we have so many different features, not just our books. So join me on this little mini series as we unpack all the features of our online library. Today, we're going to look at the interactive features of our student portal. But first, let's have a look at our online library in action. I've logged in on the student portal and as you can see we've got all of our levels plus our SOR videos. We're going to take a look at the different interactive features in our leveled books today. I've logged in and pressed our level 2 so that you can see here all of our books are here. The first feature that I'd like to show you is this part here called Hear the Sounds. When we click on here, this is where students practice their letter sound correspondence knowledge. Let's have a look at this in action. The next feature is this button here called Sight Words to Learn. When we click on that button, you'll find all of the sight words that are found in each level. We can navigate all of these sight words by clicking here. When a student would like to hear the words sounded out, they click on the word. E, he, what, and, went. Currently, students have access to 130 decodable texts. This will continue to grow as we create new texts and new resources to support the learning. There are so many opportunities for students to practice using controlled texts of letter sound correspondences that they have been explicitly taught. I sit, sit, sit on the rocks in the sun. As students are reading the decodable text, they may come to a word that they need further assistance on. All they need to do is tap on the word to hear it being sounded out. St -ink stink. Pants. Pants. This button here is the Read to Me button. This allows students to check their decoding skills as well as hear the text being read fluently. I am Eric. I dig and dig and dig. This next feature is a great feature for students that require extra large text. Maybe there's some vision impairment and they require a larger text. So because the platform is web-based, what we can do is actually blow up the text just using our fingers. So on an iPad, it's really easy because it's touch screen, but this is also the ability to do on a laptop as well, just using your um, trackpad. So you can blow it up. And the other great thing is that all the features still work even if it's been blown up. So if I click a word like this, 
Sock. Socks. It will still be sounded out. And I know there's a bit of a reflection there, but you can still see that the text is so accessible when it's blown up or when it's at its original size. So we can just change the page and maneuver it to fit the screen to help those students that require a really large text. This is also great for dictation where maybe you want to dictate a sentence, show them the picture, dictate the sentence where the students have to write it down, then reveal the sentence nice and large and project that onto your interactive whiteboard. But this ability to blow up and reduce comes in really handy, especially if you want to do things like word detective and you want to find certain words with different sounds, we can blow that up and see the text nice and big, or we can have it a little bit smaller and just have it at normal text size. So a great feature because it is web-based, we have the ability to do it. Today you've learned all about the interactive features of our online library. Join me next week as we unpack our SOR Squad videos. That's our sounds of reading in fun, engaging ways through our learning videos. I'll see you next week.